Hello guys, it's Mia, and today I will be showing you and reading the backs of the books I got at my school's Fall at Book Fair. Um, this video is not sponsored. It is just I wanted to show you the books I got and just so I show you like what I'm reading and stuff and everything about them. And sorry if you hear stuff in the background, I'm in my living room. So it's a general area for people to, you know, come and be in. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight onto the video. Well, maybe not to the video, to my intro, but after my intro, you will get to the video. So let's get started. is a book that is super duper easy and I feel like anyone could finish it if you like to read in like a day or two and it's one that my brother will probably like more than me but it's okay it is one of those who is where is what is that and it is where is area 51 and it's got a big warning sign on the front that says warning UFO, alien head, UFO, this dude I believe this is interstate 51 and it says can't read it. It says it is unlawful to enter this installation without the written permission of the installation commander. Installation Commander Authority Internal Security Act 50 USC 797 and the punishment if you pass it is up to one year of imprisonment and a five thousand dollar fine. So that's just the, the warning signal. And the back says, which one of these facts are true? It's a Nevada Air Force base that keeps the public far, far away. CIA, CIA agents do super secret work there. Some people believe aliens and their spaceships are stored there, or all of the above. If you guess all of the above, or D, you are correct. All of those things about Area 51 are true. So that, here, I'll just go through. Oh, I forgot to show you. Here's a map that came with the book, and it's just got the little warning signal in the middle there and like the places around it. And then these little things here with little captions on it. One of them says, a heavily guarded entrance to Area 51 with warning signs, which is this one. And then this one right here says, a sign for the little A. Lee Inn restaurant and motel. And then this one, Right here says, an A-12 plane, which looks like a flying saucer when airborne. So, I'm just going to put that back in here. And we're just going to do a little flip through, you know. Ooh, lots of fun pictures. The map is back. So that is the first book I have. The next two books I have are part of a series together. You know, them. I don't have the second one which makes me so sad because this series is so good the first one i have is invisible emmy by terry lee benson sorry if i said that wrong but i've only read that much and so far it's about two girls who don't know each other that are completely opposites and um one of them's popular and one of them is quiet and draws and the quiet one is emmy and that is what the book is basically about sorry this pillow is probably like on your nerves by now but it's really heavy so yeah we have invisible emmy it is so good and the back says crushes humiliation drama middle school this is the story of two totally different girls Quiet, shy, artistic Emmy and popular outgoing athletic Katie and how their lives unexpected, unexpectedly intersect one day when an embarrassing note falls into the wrong hands. So I'm excited to see how the rest of the million pages go back here. But that is Invisible Emmy. Next out of that series, which is actually the third one, uh, and that was the first one, we have just Janie, which I have not read yet. My friend actually started reading it 
and it looks really good. It's a little bit bigger than Invisible Emmy, but it is also by Terry Lee Benson. Again, sorry. And it says, from the best-selling author of Invisible Emmy and Positively Izzy. Sorry, I'm like having to like read it backwards. Like in the camera where I'm looking at, it looks like it says, to Sul Imigi. That's what it looks like. Im Imigi. 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 No, it looks like it says, Gimigi. 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 That's what it looks like. In the camera. So for you guys, it says just Jamie. But for me, it says to Sul Imigi. Don't. Wait, I have to read the back of this one. It says, Fred. Oh, here's Positively Izzy. I don't have it, but here's what it looks like. And it was $13. So it says, friends, frenemies, middle school. The last day of seventh grade has Jamie and Maya wondering who their real friends are. Jamie knows something is off with her friend group. They started to exclude her and make fun of the way she dresses and the things she likes. At least she can count her, on her BFF Maya to have her back, right? Mai feels more and more annoyed with Jamie, who seems babyish compared to the other girls in the popular group. It's like not, it's like she has nothing in common with Jai anymore. Are these days are their days as BFFs numbered? Um Yeah, so that's just yeah, oh here's the flip through, you know, like little comics and little books. And I forgot positive invisible. Just flip through that one, you know. It's just as interesting. So that is just Jamie. So this last and final book is another one I haven't read. I have four books and I haven't read all of them yet. Um, the back one's a little longer. This is Hope in the Holler by Lisa Lewis Tyre, and she came to my school, which I'm not telling you what my school is, but she came to my school. And if you're watching this, hi, it's not sponsored by her again, but like if you're watching this, hi. This is, I'm so excited to read this. Like, she went to my school and like explained it. And let me just see what she said. She said, there's this girl and her mom dies. No, so sad. Huh? And her mom dies and she goes to live with her aunt, who is really rude. And then she makes this group of friends and they find out this huge family secret and about gold and they don't know what to do. So I'm gonna read you the back and then I'm gonna show you the thing that makes this so cool. So it says, right before Wavy's mom died, she gave Wavy a list of instructions to help her find her way in life. But little did her mom know that a wild turn of events would bring Wavy to Colony to Conley Holler. The apple at Leitian home, her mom and had hoped to forever leave behind. Now Wavy's back in Holler and in the clutches of scheming relatives. Living with rotten relatives is no picnic, but Wavy finds real pleasure in the beauty of the mountains. Sleeping in her mom's childhood bed and making friends with funny, kind-hearted kids her aunt calls neighborhood no-accounts. While her new friend Gilbert gleefully fills her in on who and what to avoid, sensible Camille, helps her focus on the future. And when Wavy learns a shocking family secret, it is their support that just might allow her to be brave enough to find and grab a piece of that good life. So, yeah. So the cool part about when she came to my school is that everybody who bought the book got it signed by her. So it says to Mia, Remember number six, which says, be brave, Wavy B. You got as much right to a good life as anybody. So find it, which is at the top right here. So yeah, it says that. And then it says, with love from Convict Holler, which is where Wavy goes. And then it says, Lisa Lewis Tire, which is her name. Thank you, Lisa Lewis Tire, for coming to my school and doing that, first of all, because that is awesome. Um... But second of all, this is just an overall good book. And yes, it was a fall at book fair. No more Scholastic, but we still love Scholastic. Fall at book fair is a little penguin. A little cute little penguin. And yeah. 
We love Scholastic though. So if Scholastic is watching this, hi, I miss you. Come back to my school. But I'm not saying my school on the internet, peeps. So yeah. All right, that is all I have for you guys today. All the books I have that I got from my school's fall at book fair. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends, and have a good day. Happy birthday to you if you're just watching my channel on your birthday. So, goodbye! I don't know why I did that.